Hi, welcome to Adventures in Bonsai. Today we're going to take a look at the memorial bonsai that I made for our pet kiwi in which we put her ashes into the sphagnum moss to let them become incorporated into the hardwood of the tree as the tree grows. The tree itself looks pretty good and it's doing fine. I just wanted to take you on a, a little tour and show you a little trim up of what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Here's the bonsai tree made out of a Green Island ficus, which is a hedge tree down here in Florida. It grows very nicely. It's got these nice paddle shaped leaves, nice glossy green color. The plant itself looks very healthy. And I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I look for when I look at these trees. Now, one of the first things you'll notice here is that the moss, the surface moss, is still trying to recover from a, a rough winter. I think it'll be okay, but I may replace this. I'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this little spot here is a bowl or a place where the, a branch had broken off a long time ago, and I colored the center of this with uh, lime sulfur. Uh, we've talked about that when we talk about shari and gin and some of the other videos. But what's nice about this tree, I really just like looking at it, taking my time and seeing what's going on. One thing we have is I've got some nice figs growing here. And they're in various places around the tree. Uh, it's always nice to have fruit growing on your tree and people are always very impressed by that. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be getting rid of some of these bigger leaves. This one here is a little bit large compared to the other ones. They're not much bigger, but they're big enough that I see them as being bigger. And I know that if I can go and start to cut down on the size of some of these leaves, that the new ones that come in will be on a smaller scale and will look better. Now another thing I like to do when I look at this tree is just kind of look at it and see like what's going on in terms of what does it remind me of. And this, this here kind of reminds me of a guy that's dancing. Here's his body and his legs coming down that tilts up up here and here's his head. And he's got his arms coming out over here. It's like a tree man. Uh, he kind of reminds me of a uh, fellow in one of Diego Rivera's uh, posters that he did about guys dancing. Well, let's go take a look at some of these leaves and start cutting some of them off. I actually off. do have real bonsai scissors that I occasionally use, and today that's what I'm going to use. So, like I said, I've got these couple of big leaves right here. And I'm just going to clip them off. And keep looking for some more big ones. See that? I get to see these uh, figs a little bit better. There aren't that many where I consider to be oversized leaves here. Maybe about six or eight altogether. But I'm going to be brave and get rid of them. Because I know in the long run it'll make the tree look a little bit better. Here's another big one. These leaves are just crossing each other and kind of hiding the fruit behind it, so now I get a little better view of that. I like this little piece that comes off of here, and I'm going to leave that there. I had been toying with the idea of cutting down all this and making this plant kind of lean down towards the side, but I think I want to just leave it alone. Uh, it looks really nice. It looks healthy. Uh, we really like having this plant around a lot. And there's another leaf that may be a little bit on the big side. And I'd like to get rid of.
These are really nice trees for bonsai. They're really healthy. They grow well. And you can even have your own tree man. Have fun with your bonsai.